much. Why did you leave, Kenny? I wasn't really getting a game. We had signed a, a, lot, a lot of strikers at that moment. Uh, I think uh, Magic was still there. Obviously, Venegar of Hesslink had came in the year before. Scotty Mack had just been signed as well. Uh, Chris Killen had been signed. Right. So it's one of them, and I've talked about this many a time, that when an opportunity came up to, to go down to England with, with Billy Davis, who was a wonderful coach uh, and manager, really, really enjoyed the, the short spell, to be honest, that I had working with him. He was excellent. and But I was still debating because I knew it would be a tough season going down a team that's just been promoted. So it was a, I was still debating whether it was the right thing to do or not. But when you speak to a football club and the kind of answers are, well, if you stay, you stay. We're quite happy if you stay. But if you want to go also, then we're quite happy. The ball's in your court. It doesn't really make you feel that wanted, you know. So it was, uh, yeah, I thought, OK, fair enough. I'll, uh, I'll go on my merry way and try try my hand down the derby and go and work for a manager who did want me to go and play you know so it was uh, that, that that was it I mean it was a tough decision because I knew when I the reasons I went to Celtic at the first it was to win you know mm. I, I wanted to play part in a winning squad I wanted to have success I, I had sampled the, the Champions League when I first went to Rangers as a young boy and it gave me a real hunger for it I only had one appearance in it uh, and that season Celtic were straight into the Champions League because I think it was Barcelona Arsenal was the Champions League final had Barcelona won uh, it made Celtic straight into the group stages so that was another a real opportunity to have that so it was uh, no that, I ticked all the boxes for what I wanted to be as a, as a player you know like I said playing for trophies competing for leagues and an opportunity to test yourself against the best so that's why I went so leaving was was tough you know mm-hmm. but uh, it was an opportunity to, to go and like I said I never really felt that was going to be really, really prominent, or a, or a, or at least given a fair crack of the whip to to, to really nail a, a place down. Because I started, uh, I started on the bench. Then I found myself in the team. Then I was out the team after scoring a few goals. Uh, and again, just to touch on Gary's point, they actually got three goals in about ninety minutes of football at the start of that season. Yeah. So I'd actually started off in goal scoring terms a lot better than what I had done the season before. But I've always said as well, I think only I think only scored eight goals that year for Celtic which was really really poor because I did play a lot of football but obviously it's not about me and individual stuff it's about being successful and the team won the league uh, won the Scottish Cup and got to the last 16 of the Champions League so it was a it was a successful season and that's why that's why I went but yeah the opportunity came up and like I said I never really felt particularly valued at that point at, with at the club that I was going to get the game time that I, I knew if I wasn't getting a, a, the game time that I felt I probably deserved I knew I would be really, really unhappy so ultimately that was it 